Hello everyone, in this video we will create a before and after image comparison slider uh, in the native DAWN theme uh, without uh, using any app and we will build a custom section in order to uh, achieve this. Uh, there are a bunch of apps out there um, and I just wanted to replicate this without paying anything uh, which we can do and I will create a series of uh, tutorials on this. Uh, so that we can replicate uh, what the apps do without having to use the apps right uh, so let's dive into it and see what we can do I've already logged into my Shopify site uh, and if I open this I should be able to see the theme customizer as well as uh, the site this is a development site as you know now let's create a section uh, and inside sections I would create a before after dot liquid section and in a section the first thing we need to do is uh, copy the schema with the presets so that it shows in our theme customizer uh, for now I don't need any of these settings but we need this so the name of our section would be before and after similarly uh, in the presets and the category can be images uh, and let's see if it works so for now I would simply create an h2 tag before and after just uh, stick with whatever the schema your theme follows like if they do sections then do it if they use divs uh then do that so over here let's see if we get a section of before and after yeah we do get that and we get before and after cool now basically um we need two images in this section and we need to compare them right so uh, what i would do is we do not need to create any blocks for this we can simply use the section settings so let's create the first one the type would be image picker the id would be first image and the label would be first image as well and i will replicate this but just change the ids second image second image right now what we need to do is we need to showcase this so let's create a container class inside let's move this title tag and then create a wrap wrapper div and inside this div i would have two images so the first image would have the source of the first image picker we will use so we will access it using section dot settings dot first image and we want to give it a filter of image url and we want to get the master copy which was the original version of uploaded image and i will replicate this um, and i will give it a class of after just that i will use a second image over here cool so now we are giving the user an option to pick two images and then we will display those two images and we also need a slider so a slider can be created by using input type range uh, minimum zero maximum hundred and the initial value would be 50 and i would call it a slider cool now we have a very basic layout ready we will add some css which i've already created um, and let's load this one let's reload this once we are there we will see that it gives an option to pick two images so let's pick two images. I should basically say that if this image is not empty and if this image is not empty, then showcase this. But for the sake of this video, it will work fine. So we will upload two images. We have selected this, sorry. 
and then for the second image I would pick this thank you now these images are way too big which I don't want um, I, I do want them uh, to be you know fit inside the container so we need to add some CSS to this so in order to add the CSS for this particular section I would use what Shopify is using with uh, the modular approach so let's create a file first and then call it over here and I will call it before after dot CSS it is an asset URL and it is a style sheet tag and I would do the same but for JavaScript but this time it would won't be a style sheet tag it will be a script tag right now we need to create these files so inside the assets let's create before after dot css and let's also create before after dot javascript let's uh, put in some values for this which i have created let's take this out so <clears throat> um, yeah it's pretty self-explanatory anyone who does not know about the polygon should take a look at uh, MDN documentation it's very simple and this is what we get when we play with the values um, and for now let's say the user moves to the left 40 percent and user moves to the left more 40 percent so this is what we will play with let's say the slider moves across and we say it is 80 percent 80% and you see uh, how it will react to it so we will uh, use this as well and it's pretty simple now let's uh, use the JavaScript I might need to optimize the JavaScript a little bit it's not very well written so the first thing I would do is I would say that use this only when the window has been uh, loaded so that's how we will start and then we will also say let slider is equal to this and slider dot add event listener to and slider dot value and we might take out the working one which I tested earlier right so uh, same to values which I showed you over here how we can play with this and it will react according to the uh, slider so let's save this I hope that the CSS and JavaScript are loaded oh it's skewed uh, what is happening over here let's yeah so it was a simple bug um, and I basically misquoted the class and it should work like this now it can be improved I know it's not very good um, we can basically say the wrapper to 100 view height that can work uh, yeah and then we can play with this thing but i hope that this has helped you understand that we can uh, use this without uh, having to use those apps we can create such uh, such sections by ourselves it is too big uh, i don't like it i've updated some css and it looks a little better uh, one thing i missed was uh, to have an icon over here so basically what I did is I uploaded a file over here and I will copy the URL and then instead of this we can give it like this and let's see if we can load this so it looks 
somewhat neater than uh, previous um, and I guess I can move this one it looks okay on mobile as well and let's see if we can move it somewhere so what? minus 3.25 pixel no it's a little too big hmm. that looks better right so um, yeah uh, that is it for this video um, and if you want to see how to upload this to the live video stick to the ne next one and I will uh, create a video on that as well thank you